What's pop poppin' up, everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Hitman. In the last episode, we were in Colorado, and it was a slaughter. Uh, I killed everyone I saw there. I was just hide hiding out in a little cabin and just freaking lighting everyone up. Um, but apparently, uh, th there's there's like a we have a mole in the ICA that works for Providence. I think the enemy is. Yeah, I think our main enemy is Providence, and uh, we have someone in the ICA, like our group, that's working for Providence. And so we're gonna have to take that dude out. So the next place we are going to which is actually the last place, which is uh, Japan, Hakiado, Hakado, Hakado. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But yeah, we're going to Japan for our last mission. Thank God I want to be done this game because it is infuriating. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I do have Hitman 2, so I will be playing that. So a lot more rage quits and. Uh, yeah, just a lot more rage quits. Um, quick, quick disclaimer, as I mentioned in every episode, I am shit at this game. Uh, you're supposed to kill people tactically using uh, poison, uh, certain ways to kill them and cause accidents to make, things, wait, to make it look like an accident. That's not how I roll. I go in guns a-blazing. Uh, one of the reasons why I do that is because if I try to do a tactical way of killing someone, it takes way too long. And then, like, like it just takes way too long, and it gets to a certain point where if you're, like, halfway through that opportunity, where it's like, oh, disguise yourself as this person, and then sneak in and poison their food. And if I get, like, halfway in to that opportunity, and I mess up, that's an opportunity wasted, where I could have just done something else entirely to try to kill a person, but if that's an opportunity wasted, I just wasted my whole time trying to do that. So sometimes I just like to go in guns blazing. So at this moment, like I said, we have a mole in the ICA, so now we're going to have to take him out, so let's do that. Uh, I'm probably not going to do any commentary for this episode. Uh, for like half the episodes, I didn't really do any commentary because I was trying to focus and the game really pisses me off. So, so, so yeah, let's uh, fly to Japan. Let's do this. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as Situs Inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant, and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law, if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite in one of the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Soda's is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal room has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. No patience this way. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hey! Leave when you're told to leave. Oh, Genki Daska. Oh, sorry.
personal room has been outfitted with a radio frequency That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza. Target down. Now it's time for soldiers to retire. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative Collins. This is spiraling out of control! Get there! Target down. Now it's time for soldiers to retire. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operator to the province. Naraku! Something bad is about to go down! Burn in hell, spawn of Satan! Target down. Now it's time to serve us. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operator to Providence. Careful now! 
have a vigil. No. What the? Shit! What's that? Snake's gone hiding. Echo Alpha, can you see him? Look! In the kitchen! Firing a weapon. Look, okay. asshole, stick.
Week. We are beefing up security at the moment, sir, so I'm afraid I can't let you through here. Target is in the corner! It's down. Time to find an exit. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs. Killing our operatives. And making the ICE look like fools. I think you... got close to that someone. Closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you... to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. 
in his own special way, he cares about you, and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Birdwood, we won a long time ago. This, <laughs> this is maintenance. And that does it for Hitman. Uh, there's not really much for me to explain, really. Um, there are some parts of the story where I struggle to understand it, but basically what I have given, the information that I've been given, is that 47 is basically like an experiment of some kind um, to be the perfect killer. Um... And that man that we kept seeing, the one with the, the nice haircut, the guy who had a sniper pointed, us, pointed at us in the last episode, I believe he is also a, um, an experiment as well, to be the perfect killer. So kind of like a yin and yang situation. Um, but the past for 47 is still a mystery to Miss Burnwood. Uh, but she didn't really care about his past that much. She was like, hey, I trust him. He gets the job done. That's all that matters. And so she just gave him all the contracts necessary. Um, but Providence, if I had to take a guess, I feel like that guy with the haircut there, I, I don't even know his name. I just, I just keep calling him the guy with the haircut. <laughs> what I think is that the guy with the haircut, I think he works for Providence. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, or he could be just his own man doing his own thing. Um, and so that dude there that was talking to Miss Burnwood was um, someone working for Providence, I imagine. Uh, he basically saying, we read your message loud and clear and there will be no retaliation from Sodders or from any of the other uh, assassinations that have occurred. Uh, but... Uh, we have, um, they're like, we have our own little problem, and we think that you could help us with that. And Burnwood's like, hmm, I don't know, I can't really trust you guys. It's like, well, we're the lesser of two evils here, so I think I'd, I think you'd be very interested to hear me out, at least. And so he's trying to provide, like, better information on 47's background, and gave her a, a picture of 47 when he was just a kid. Um... Yeah. Um, so the story is pretty good. I imagine if you do the tactical kills properly, uh, I imagine that they're pretty cool and they look badass. That's not how I roll. Uh, so I just went in and freaking started popping off rounds left, right, and center. And, uh, yeah. And then that, uh, 
got me through the level. Although I died many, many times throughout this game. And it was infuriating. And then I'm going to have to do it all again in Hitman 2. <laughs> I don't want to play that game. Eh, I'll still do it. But kind of like this one here, uh, I imagine there won't be as much commentary throughout that game. Because it's infuriating and I need to concentrate and figure out ways to kill my targets. Whether it's guns a-blazing or tactical kills. But, uh, yeah. I don't care about my ratings, never spotted, no notice kills, no bodies found time. Yeah, nah, y when it comes to the ratings, I am not that person when it comes to this game. Oh my god. If it was like Assassin's Creed, where it was like, hey, remain undetected, or do uh, three assassinations, or... Uh, kill a person with a sword or some crap like that, then I'd be able to pull it off. But if it's things like this, not my repertoire. But, um, yeah, that does it for this Let's Play. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. And if you like my content, make sure to subscribe and share with friends and family. And, uh, you know, while you're at it, take a look at some of the other videos I have. There's Batman, Arkham series, there's Assassin's Creed, Deadpool, story videos, Gotham Knights, Injustice 2, Guardians of the Galaxy. All kinds of Let's Plays to watch and enjoy. Uh, once again, I will say thank you, and I will see you guys in the next series.